Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, today I believe I have found the best strategy to get your RPG, RPG gold or your launcher's diamond, whatever you're looking for. But we all know the RPG is the harder one between the RPG and the Sigma. So this is all about the RPG today. So my RPG is not gold, but as you can see right here, I am at 21 out of 25 on the Cherry Blossom, which is probably deemed the hardest challenge in the game because getting 25 aerial score streaks with the rpg is so hard now it is a lot easier I'm, i gotta put this out there it's a lot easier if you have a party of six because then you can tell your teammates to not shoot down the score streaks but as you can see in one day i got 25 and i'm gonna tell you how it requires two main classes this first one i just have the all gone just because i'm going for the all gold all you have to do on your main class though is just have a gun that you can just use like if you're going for gold on like another gun or just any gun you want to use here doesn't matter but you have your rpg and then what's really important is you have engineer and you have spycraft on and you have uh no no this one yeah this one is just engineer and spycraft then you're going to go to your second class and this is the really important class you want to have an lmg i prefer the stoner because it's actually really good and the only attachment that's necessary is the 17.8 inch cavalier lancer because it has a plus 100 percent vehicle damage then you want to have danger close on for maximum amount of missiles you want to have engineer and cold-blooded and then i put on assault pack too you don't really need it but assault pack could come in handy so this is your main class that you're going to do it with but i just personally don't want to use these perks on my actual main class throughout the whole match uh so frag grenades also very important on both classes now nuketown is the best for this because for instance like just now there was an update and Nuketown is still here. Nuketown 24 7 is still here. The reason why Nuketown is the best is because, first of all, you can get your main gun that you're actually trying to get gold gold while you're doing it. But at the same time, the score streaks, there's not a lot of space where they can be. It's a small map. So the one thing I will say, shooting at spy planes, I shoot, I do shoot at the spy planes with my RPG. However, your odds of actually hitting them are extremely, extremely low. I think I've hit in the course of the last 24 hours. I've shot about 100 missiles at spy planes and I've hit about three of them or maybe two. I don't remember. Like every time I get on the game, I'm just like, ah, this RPG. Oh, I got another UAV just now. <laughs> Xbox record that. Xbox record that. I just got a UAV. I was just complaining. So I'm going to be sitting here just sitting in the window. I'm trying to get the all gold by doing the the science challenge kill people behind cover but basically what you do is uh if there's a spy plane in the air right when you spawn in like let's say i just spawned in and they have a spy plane like at the second half of domination you just sit here in your spawn you shoot your three missiles at it maybe one of them will hit eventually because if i mean all you need is 25 i need to shoot you through the wall all you need is 25 aerial score streaks to get the rpg gold obviously there's other challenges that are hard but the 25 aerial score streaks is the hardest and then the second hardest is get three score streaks down in one game. And you can do that simultaneously while doing this method. I've, I have, uh, I think I've done that three out of the 10 times needed already by just passively doing it. Now your favorite, like the favorite thing you want to go for is attack helicopters and care packages. But honestly, attack helicopters are the way to go because what you want to do is if an attack helicopter gets called in, you just want to immediately hold your frag grenade and just uh, switch your, your other class, the main, the stoner class. And then what you do, and once again, like I said, this method is a million times easier. First of all, if you're not playing Team Deathmatch, you're playing Domination. But it's a million times easier if you have a team of six who's not going to shoot down that helicopter. Because if you have a team of six, you're guaranteed to get at least one every time an attack helicopter gets called in. So we spawn in, we look in the sky with our RPG, nothing's there. So then we just go back to using our AUG. And now the reason why this is so important is because if you just straight up go for the RPG like by itself, you're gonna get stressed out you're gonna get angry especially if you shoot an rp or if you shoot your rpg at a spy plane and it doesn't go down because it won't most of the time 99 percent of the time it won't go down uh but if you have you know if you're just passively going for another gun uh gold then it's not that big of a deal and that's exactly what i'm doing like i have been working on this aug and in the time of me working on this aug i got 21 arrow streaks yesterday right here so they have an enemy spy plane and right here you just want to take shots at it now once again super low odds of you actually hitting it but every time you spawn it it doesn't hurt to take shots at it so i have my three shots missed them just move along now care package is like this is my team's care package but imagine right there enemy care package what you want to do is wait for it to stop and right when it stops take your shot you can actually hit that shot pretty far out 
and you're good to go. Now, the VTOL airship is also good for this. If you have cold butt, the problem is, is even with cold butt, it can still shoot at you because it's user operated. However, the, like that's why I said the attack helicopter is the best because it does not shoot at you. Right now, I'm just waiting to see. Obviously, and another beautiful thing about this method is especially if you get domination, the enemy team always calls an attack helicopter on domination every time. Oh, right here. Uh, here's another perfect thing. The sentry guns right here that, oh, my teammate just got it. Sentry guns is the, the ground streaks. Now, those are obviously not hard to take out. The only problem with them is obviously you just, you know, you got to hope someone gets it, which is why, once again, Domination Nuketown is the best because the most I see sentry guns is on Domination Nuketown. As you can see, the problem with this setup is, like, since I have Engineer on, so I can see sentry guns and spy planes easier is I don't have tag mask. But I'm just sitting here in the spawn, hammering them down. Oh, my teammate has a trapper gunner. Yeah, trapper gunners suck, which is why I still run air patrol. I guess technically you could take your chance at a trapper gunner, but in all honesty, I just air patrol the trapper gunners. I, I'm i not going to let a trapper gunner kill me a million times. But that's basically it. I just Before the end of this video, I really want to show you guys the attack helicopter. The attack helicopter, at first, I was having a big struggle with it because it just kept killing me, and every time I would shoot it, like the worst part, like I said, if you're not in the team of six, is your teammates can also shoot down the helicopter. But with the stoner, if you do the stoner and you hit the attack helicopter with one missile, you can literally take it down faster than, than an air patrol can. Now, once again, it's my teammate with the VTOL that sucks. That would be so perfect if this was an enemy VTOL. But once again, that's why I said, like, this isn't, like, you know, you're not going to get... I mean, I guess you could technically get in today, but the whole point of this is, like, you're just passively working on the RPG because that is, like... That's what I found. Shout out to Scary for that uh, helpful tip. Basically... Oh, right there. I just... Wait, I screwed up. I used all three of my missiles, but watch. Let me just show you. If you had your missiles, look right... Boom. Right there. That would have guaranteed hit. 100% that hits right there. Right in the middle. Right when it stops moving, that would have hit. Now, it looks like this game's going to end before I can even get an attack helicopter. So, I'm just going to keep shooting at the spy planes. I don't really care. Oh, well, that spy plane's gone. But, once again, this was a team deathmatch, so a really poor, poor example. But, as soon as this game ends, I'm going to I'm gonna hop into another game. I'm just going to show you... Like how easy it is to take down a helicopter now obviously you're not going to get it 100 percent of the time every single time you know because like i said sometimes your teammates can shoot like the helicopter from you that's why this is works best with the team of six. Oh, here we go care package here we go 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 this is all oh, that why is this care package so much higher in the air why is that one so much higher there's normally so much closer to the ground did you see how high that care package was are you kidding me what a bad example but that's what you do let me hop into another game and show you guys it with attack helicopter so I've been playing this whole hard point and none of them are calling in a helicopter still. I just wanted to show you guys me taking down a helicopter. I mean, look at the score on the bottom or the top left, right under the mini map. I'm just going to go like to start feeding them kills in just hopes that one of them gets me my helicopter. But what, what I was going to say real quick is like when a helicopter gets called in, you just immediately switch your class right here and then you just hold frag grenade. That way, like you can quickly switch your other class. And then by the time it's actually here, there you go. You have your your stoner class up so i'm gonna just keep feeding these guys just until hopefully a helicopter comes before this game ends oh there's a sentry gun where's that sentry gun is it above me oh there's the sentry gun there we go sentry gun turret let's go got a ground wow these guys are so bad in this lobby well but it looks like there's gonna be another game where literally i don't understand <laughs> I, this is the one game i want score streaks called on me and no one's calling into score streaks like, this is unbelievable. Two games in a row, literally not a single helicopter. Are you kidding me? You know, honestly, at this point, I'm just going to go back to my stream from yesterday and find how fast I destroyed a helicopter and show you guys that right now. That's exactly what I want. Oh, well, that's my teammate's hero. Wait, won't my teammate's helicopter and their helicopter fight each other? Him not responding, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, please. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I got the helicopter. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, there you have it. That's how I have the RPG, like, so close to gold in literally just one day of just passively playing with it. It just took me a little bit. Basically, the, the stoner is the LMG I use, but whatever LMG you want with the plus 100% vehicle damage barrel is all you really need. And danger close. And then cold blood so you don't get attacked. And then also... I don't think I mentioned this earlier. Spycraft on your main class is super important because then you can see exactly like where the sentry gun is. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. I believe tonight at 9 p.m. Well, I know tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, we are streaming on Theta. RudyPatuti.Theta.TV. It's in the description down below. 
I believe we're doing the zombie Easter egg. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 99% sure that that is what we're going for. Also, the 2v2 League Season 0 is going to be starting here real soon. Check out my Twitter for more information on that and the Discord. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.